I am here in Nandi Hills in Bangalore driving the Maruti CS facelift, the most value for money offering in the C segment. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you what's new on this car, which makes it an even better value for money proposition. While there are no sheet metal changes on the Sias facelift, the changes to the front as well as the rear make the Sias look upmarket now. The car gets revised lights both at the front as well as the rear and both the front as well as the rear bumpers have been revised. In fact, it gets a lot of chrome treatment. There is the LED treatment both to the tail light as well as the headlight which looks really nice and the best thing about this car are the LEDs. It gets DRLs, the fog lights also get LEDs and it gives it a very nice white looking appearance at the front. The grille has been revised too, it gets the piano black or rather the gloss black treatment and the chrome line above the grille might remind you of Tata Motors Humanity line. The only change on the side are the precision cut 16 inch wheels on the top spec alpha variant. On the inside too, Maruti has made certain cosmetic tweaks like the finishing on the dashboard which does look nice and this car gets an all new instrument cluster with certain elements borrowed from the Baleno. The 4.2 inch multi information display shows a lot of data like how much power and torque is being used in a graphical format. Meanwhile, there's also a screen which shows you the working of the hybrid system. This car gets a eco mode indicator which by the way is very similar to its arch rival the Honda City. Maruti Suzuki has also added more features in the CIs like the automatic variants get hill hold as well as ESP. Other features include automatic headlights which also get an automatic leveling function. The CIs also gets cruise control along with reverse parking sensors and that reverse parking sensors beep is also used for the speed alert system. So once you cross 80 km per hour, it beeps once every 60 seconds and as you cross 120 km per hour, it continuously keeps beeping. This car also gets a seatbelt reminder for both the front seats and there are dual airbags as well as ABS which is standard across the range. The Sias has always been a very well equipped car. It gets keyless entry, push button start, a 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system which is called as Smart Play. There is a reverse camera on offer as well as Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Connectivity too. That's not all, it also gets an auto dimming inside rear view mirror, rear center armrest, rear AC vents and well, the car is well loaded with features but misses out on two crucial features which its rivals offer which is a sunroof and side airbags. The CS facelift continues with petrol and diesel engine options. The diesel engine is the same 1.3 litre unit which produces 90 PS of power and 200 Newton meters of torque. It uses the old smart hybrid technology and isn't a very good engine in terms of drivability because there is low end lag. However, the engine which we are driving is the petrol and it's available with both a 5 speed manual as well as a 4 speed automatic gearbox. Now this is a new 1.5 litre unit known as the K15 produces 13% more power and 6% more torque at 103 horses and 138 newton meters. Right away I can tell you that this engine is very refined, has good amount of low end punch as well but the mid range isn't that great, there's a flat spot over there and it's only in the top end that this K series motor starts to scream. It makes quite a racket near the red line and the manual red lines at around 6,500 rpm meanwhile the automatic red lines at just under 6,000 rpm. Between both the powertrain options, obviously it is the manual which is better because the automatic is very slow with shifts and it's a 4 speed unit in 2018, really. What further makes the manual the better option is the light clutch as well as the smooth shifting gearbox. The standard feature on the CS Petrol is of course the smart hybrid technology which gets a lithium-ion battery. Yes, 
this car smart hybrid system does three functions one is the idle stop start basically when you come to a halt the engine will turn off to save fuel then there is regenerative braking which charges the battery when you brake and of course this assists in keeping the battery charge high which helps in acceleration because there is a function called torque assist the overall result is that this car is the most efficient petrol sedan in the country for both manual as well as automatic options and the diesel has always been the most efficient diesel sedan in the country with a claimed mileage of more than 28 km per liter Maruti says that it has worked on the suspension to make the ride quality even better. The Sierra has always had a fantastic ride and this one is no exception. It is just very comfortable even over the worst of roads and you simply can't feel the lightweight of this car. So overall high speed stability is also great. Bad bumps don't affect the car at all and it's only on extremely bad roads at high speeds that there's a thud inside the cabin. Yes there is some amount of body roll in the CS and overall because of the blunt steering it's not a car you would like to push around corners even though the tires offer good amount of grip braking performance is very good and the CS offers show footage stopping power because you're The Sierra has always been a very value for money offering in the segment. It offers a ton of features and the updates do make it a better purchase than before. The updated petrol engine makes the Sierra a better performer and the hybrid system is something which is very unique. Unfortunately, the diesel doesn't get the same hybrid system and that's the reason why its price has reduced from the pre-facelifted model. Yes, this one, the petrol gets a lithium ion battery which the diesel misses out on. but the pricing has been reduced which makes it even more value than before the cias might not excite in terms of driving but is a very comfortable car thus if you're looking for a c segment sedan oriented towards comfort and value then there's no looking further than the cias because you're